when you receive the Mike Sig Sato 1004 Automotive Oscilloscope. Do not open right away. Check for outside damage first. Take out the plastic bag. There are calibration certificate, packing list, quick guide and QC pass. Then take out oscilloscope. Remove the sealed plastic. Do not turn on scope with sealed plastic on. It will block the heat dissipation of the fan behind. Then find the power switch lock. It is to prevent accidental turn on. It is set to OFF by factory. Let's switch to on. And then press power button to turn it on. The other interfaces are grounding jack. Probe calibration port. And we also have the USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 connector. HDMI port. USB Type-C. And DC 12V power port. Let's open the back stand. When you hear the voice, then the scope is sit solidly on the table. Now we take out the accessory box. We have adapter. Power cord, localized. Alligator clips. Pin probe. BNC to banana cable. And standard probe kit. Open the probe kit. We have the manual. BNC probe. Screw stick. Color ring. Ground pin needle. IC test protector. Now we'll show you how to calibrate the compensation probe. And how to measure simple signals with oscilloscope. Take the probe. Connect the BNC to channel 1. Rotate this metal ring. The probe will be fixed. Same thing. Rotate the ring to unplug the probe. Then press the probe head. Shows up the hook. Connect the hook to the calibration port. Be aware the lower one is output. Upper one is ground. Then press auto button on the scope. Scope will complete setting automatically. We can also adjust the vertical scale and time base. Or drag the waveform up and down. To display the signal to comfortable position. When signal shows like the yellow square on channel 1. Then the probe compensation has no problem. We can fit the probe with color ring to match channel color. Easy to identify. Then connect both channel 2 and channel 3. Like the blue one and purple one. Showing there is overcompensation and undercompensation. Case like this means the probe needs to calibrate. Find the screw stick in probe kit. Stick into the hole and rotate to adjust slowly. Check the waveform changes. Until you see a flat edge. Remove the tip cover. Put on IC test kit. Able to measure spot on the circuit. And see a DC signal from the oscilloscope. When we testing signal, try use short ground lead as possible, such as the ground pogo pin. And ground should close to signal source. So to greatly reduce interference and improve signal fidelity, connect a BNC to banana cable to any channel. Banana head can be connected to pin probe or alligator clip. The pin probe can pierce the sensor signal line. Alligator clips set to be grounded. Let's demonstrate the CAN-FD bus decoding function of the oscilloscope. Let's connect a CAN-FD bus signal. Open serial bus menu. Select CAN-FD. According input signal, set the source, signal, baud rate and sampling position. 
set the trigger to bus decoding. Adjust the level to the middle of the waveform. Set the time base and vertical scale to proper position. You can see the decoded data. Open TXT mode can record all the data. Click Quick Save to save the decoded data to CSV file. Connect Wi-Fi, open App Market, download the WPS. Then you can open the CSV file directly on the oscilloscope. Here's more. Airflow meter. Pressure regulator. Alternator AC ripple. Injector diesel. Can HNL. Camshaft plus crankshaft combination. Phase rulers. For more Mike Sig oscilloscope information, please visit our website www.mikesig.com